From the dazzling city of Fort Lauderdale, some of the most beautiful young women from throughout the Sunshine State are here in exciting Broward County to compete for the title and crown of Miss Florida USA 1987. Live from Parker Playhouse, meet and welcome all 116 contestants and special guest performer Ty Herndon. And long black shiny hair She was a pretty woman for sure She cast her spell on me It wasn't long till I was in her arms And we were overseas She took me to the island And left me in a different way She took me to the island Far away Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome your contestants from North Florida, cities like Crystal River, St. Augustine, Jacksonville, Panama City, Tallahassee, and Newberry. And meet your contestants from Central Florida, cities like Gainesville, Tampa, Rockledge, Oviedo, Orlando, Bradenton. And here's your contestants from South Florida, cities like Marco Island, Miami, Lake Park, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Fort Myers. I was just a country boy from the hills of Tennessee. that I had ever seen I wanted to get to know her I wanted her to get to know me We took a walk in the Blue Ridge Mountains And there beneath the tall old tree She took me to the eye Now I'd like to introduce your host for the evening, star of TV and film, Miss Florida USA 1975, and popular television personality and pageant host, Dick Lamb and Mary Margaret Humes. The Miss Florida USA pageant is brought to you by Maybelline, the complete line of fabulous cosmetics for the eyes, lips, face, and nails in the latest easy-to-wear fashion shades. Be the best that you can be with Maybelline. And by the Broward County Tourist Development Council, Greater Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Pompano Beach, Lauderdale-by-the-Sea, and Deerfield Beach. There's no greater fun under the sun. Stay tuned to meet our 116 candidates for the title of Miss Florida USA 1987 after these messages.
greater Fort Lauderdale vacation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Dick Lamb, the Miss Florida USA Master of Ceremonies for the fourth year. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, good evening and welcome here once again. Always a pleasure to be in the Parker Playhouse. Here it is, Miss Florida USA time once again. We're um, in Fort Lauderdale in the heart of beautiful Broward County and proud to be here one more time. We have 116 beautiful young ladies. They've come here from all across the state of Florida. And uh, by the way, we've added three more television stations to our network, WXLT in the Tampa Bay area, WJTC in Pensacola, and WTVX in Fort Pierce. Welcome to you folks out there now too. Well, we're ready to take that first step toward the title of Miss Florida USA. Welcome our contestants now from North Florida. contestants who live in the northern part of Florida. Did you know that seven of our winning Miss Floridas came from North Florida? That's a pretty good average. Maybe one of these ladies tonight will change that total to eight, but that remains to be seen because now I'd like you to meet 32 of our contestants from Central Florida. Maybe you'll see your favorite now. Good evening, my name is Angela Bingham and I'm from Sarasota. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maria Garrett and I'm from Tampa. Hi, I'm Teresa Mosier from Melbourne. Hey. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rhonda Rayborn from Gainesville. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lisa Barn. I'm from Orlando. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rebecca Nemia from Orlando. Hey. Hello, everyone. From Filling Tampa, I'm Sherry Rose. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lisa Hayes and I'm from Venice. Good evening, everyone. From Pinellas Park. Good evening, I'm Janet Alberti from Sarasota. Hello, my name is Summer Schultz and I'm from Oviedo. Hello, my name is Kathleen Warren and I'm from Tampa. Hello everyone, my, hello everyone, my name is Renee Messenger and I'm from Sarasota. Hi everyone, I'm Sherry Parrish and I'm from St. Petersburg. Good evening, from Palm Bay, I'm Angela Capriello. Hello everyone, I'm Cassandra Black from Bradenton. Good evening, I'm Jill Kufel from Satellite Beach. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellen George from Cocoa Beach. Hello, I'm Renee Fridier from Gainesville. Good evening, I'm Lisa Powell from St. Peter's. Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Dietz from Stewart. Good evening, my name is Zena Jackson from Rockledge. Good evening, I'm Nancy Robarts from Winter Park, Florida. Hello, my name's Mary Ellis and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Good evening, my name is Amanda Hip and I'm from Gainesville. Good evening and welcome. I'm Pamela Wells 
and my home is in Palm Beach Gardens. Buenas noches, me llamo Clo Cabrera y vengo de Tampa. Good evening, my name is Mary Mansfield from Tampa. Hello, my name is Betsy Lake and I'm from Orlando. Good evening, my name is Kimberly Wells and I'm from Orlando. Hi, my name is Lisa Webb and I'm from Bradenton. Hello, I'm Sarah Shockley and I'm from Merritt Island. Those are the contestants from Central Florida. Any one of these girls could also be the new Miss Florida USA. Over the years, there have been five young ladies from the central area who have gone on to win the title of Miss Florida. But now, it is time to meet the 54 contestants from South Florida, where there have been eight titleists, with one Miss Florida, Cheryl Patton, becoming Miss USA 1967. Could our new queen be from South Florida? Let's meet them. Good evening. From Hollywood, I'm Jenny Marie Tomasello. Good evening. From the city of Lauderhill, I'm Rena Truccio. Good evening. I'm Yvonne Hutchins from Miami. Hello, I'm Karen Kersey from Boca Raton. Hello, my name is Audrey Arnowitz and I'm from Plantation. Hi, I'm Jennifer Burrell from Hollywood. Good evening, everyone. I am Ina Marie Elson and I'm from Miami, Florida. Representing my hometown, Fort Myers, I'm Renee Hudnall. Good evening. from Miami. Welcome everyone, I'm Gretchen Courtney from Pompano. Good evening, I'm Winnie Jeff from Miramar. Hi, I'm Nancy Martina from Deerfield Beach. Good evening, I'm Julie Nettles from Deerfield Beach. Good evening, my name is Patricia Fosman, I'm from Miami. Good evening, I'm Robin Weaver from Fort Myers. Good evening, my name is Lynn Rowe from that by now you have chosen a few of the contestants you think will at least be in the semi-finalist. And whether the next Miss Florida USA is from North, Central, or South Florida, she will represent our state with pride and honor. Now just in case you need a little more time to decide on who you're going to vote for, we'll take a break. And I'll be right back with Dick Lamb after these messages from your local stations.
Say hello again to Dick Lamb and Mary Margaret Hume. Mary Margaret Humes. Dick Lamb. <laughs> We're delighted to have you with oh, us tonight. Let me see now. Remember uh, Miriam in History, Mel Brooks, History of the World, Part 1. Correct. And then a bunch of television shows. Tell me some. Oh, let me see. I've done Hunter. I've done Riptide. I've done The A-Team. Um, I've done The Love Boat. I've done just about all of them. But um, I'd have to say my, my special appearance was opposite Richard Burton in The Fall Guy. Ooh. Hey. What's that leave for you in the future? I mean, what else can you do? You know, you can't top Dick, can you? Um, let me see. When I go back to L.A., I'm going to be doing an episode of Moonlighting, another episode of Night Court, and possibly a feature film. Well, you're going to be a busy lady. I hope so. I got a little bit of business for you right now, as a matter of fact, with one of our next guests on stage. She happens to be the reigning Miss Florida USA, Kathy Rosenwinkle. Hi, Kathy. Pretty good. Now, Kathy, we have some special and coveted awards to present, and I would like you to help me present them. The first award is Miss Amity. The title is voted upon by the contestants for the one they want to recognize as being the most helpful and congenial during the days the contestants have been working and preparing for the pageant here in Fort Lauderdale. Now, Miss Amity is... I love this part. Come here, Dick. <gasps> Drene Messenger. Now the second award is Miss Photogenic. The photographers and television cameramen covering the pageant vote for Miss Photogenic based on facial beauty and the ability for posing in front of the cameras. Now Miss Photogenic is Rhonda Rayborn. Congratulations, Miss Amity and Miss Photogenic, our first winners on the evening. You know, this weekend we've had a pretty good group of title holders with us here at the pageant, one of them the reigning Miss Florida teen, and that is Stephanie Smith. And I'll bet Stephanie at this time knows what's going through the minds of our contestants. Just like us, they're excited about those awards, but are wondering who'll be chosen as a semi-finalist. Being from Jacksonville, I'm rooting for the North Florida contestants. How about you? Dick will return after these messages to announce the 15 semi-finalists. Look, eyes with that expert look. Easy with Expert Eyes Liner by Maybelline. Look closer. Soft, blendable color glides on. A sharpener for a fine line, plus a blender tip. Look at all the colors. Expert Eyes Liner by Maybelline. Want soft, sensuous lips, alive with color? Nourish them with a moisture whip by Maybelline. Rich color, whipped with nourishing moisturizers. What more could your lips ask for? Moisture whip, nourishing lipstick. The day's looking new and bright And you're gonna start it right All you're starting to prove The aroma's calling you The best part of waking up Is Folgers in your car Mornings are brighter with Mountain Grown Folgers because Mountain Grown Coffee has more enticing aroma than any other kind. The best part of waking up Is Folgers in your the Miss Florida USA pageant wants to thank those who have contributed to the success of this year's competition. The Diplomat Resort and Country Clubs hosted the pageant contestants. Gary Fronrath Chevrolet for providing a new Camaro for Miss Florida USA. 
A1 bus lines for keeping the contestants on time for all their travels in Broward County. Bobby Rubino's, the host for the contestants and judges orientation dinner. Exotic gardens for the special settings and flowers for the pageant. And the Riverside Hotel on East Los Olas, host for the pageant judges and dignitaries. The excitement and honor of being selected Miss Florida USA is one that you too might share. I'm Kathy Rosenwinkel, Miss Florida USA 1986. If you are between the ages of 17 and 24, you may qualify. Send a card with your name, address, telephone number, and date of birth to Miss Florida USA, care of Tel Air Interest, 1755 Northeast 149th Street, Miami, Florida, 33181. Remember, this is just the beginning. Just about ready for the important first crossroads on the evening, we're going to announce our 15 semifinalists, just 15 out of all of these lovely young ladies will get to continue to compete for this title of Miss Florida USA. Now after they're announced, they'll compete in personality, evening gown, and swimsuit. Let me get those names right now. Thank you, sir. Ladies, good luck now to all of you. I'll read these names at random. Best wishes. Our first semi-finalist is Irene Seleno. Our next semi-finalist, Chloe Cabrera. Semi finalist Tina Pakansky. Next name on our list is Betsy Lake. Semi-finalist, Jennifer Cooksey. <laughs> Semi-finalist, Cindy in Singa. Next name on our list is Lisa Webb. Now joining this group, Jill Kufeld. The next semi-finalist is Lisa Haynes. <laughs> semi-finalist, Monica Farrell. Five more names to add, and the next, Kathy Scharf. <laughs> Semi-finalist, Rebecca Nemia.
Oh boy, brings it down to just three more names. The next, Joy Carlson. Next is Rhonda Rayborn. One more name. Semi finalist Audrey Arnowitz. Ladies and gentlemen, the semi-finalists for Miss Florida, USA. That's right, Dick. In voting for the semi-finalists, the judges saw the contestants in swimsuit and evening gown competition in last night's preliminary com competition. Each category counts equally in determining a semi-finalist. In a moment, we'll talk with each contestant. When our girls get together, the conversation is usually about clothes, makeup, and boys. With the help of the flirts, Lisa Can, Sarah Shockley, Shannon Scott, and Miriam Martinez went in search of a new toy. to have fun girls right now dick lamb is going to give the judges a chance to get to know our 15 semi-finalists let's begin the competition dick all right mary margaret we're set and we're going to start with irene selano irene come on out here and chat just for a little bit this young lady is from uh, hallandale she's a student at the university of miami a dancer a model and are you still with the miami dolphins as a cheerleader yes i am this is going to be my second year do you folks uh, have to do any special preparation like the team is doing right now, preseason work? In fact, we start working before the football players. We started May 31st, and we work every weekend, 10 to 5, all through the season till February. Well, along with uh, learning cheers and so forth, do you have to do anything to, uh, you know, it's crazy to say get in shape. You're obviously in shape. But uh, do you do aerobics and things of that sort? I do. I do aerobics and I jog. And really, the workouts themselves are so strenuous that you really don't have to watch your weight that much. Well, we hope you have a good season. Thank you very much. Tell me about the, uh, the schooling. You're at the University of Miami. When you're finished up there, what's in the future for you? Well, when I graduate, I hope to, my major is international finance and marketing. And I hope to work with a bank or an international firm in Miami. Hope that happens for you. Thank you. Good luck. There is Irene Selenow. 
All right, Chloe, come on out here. Ah, oh, yes, Chloe is from Tampa. It's, uh, <laughs> you wanna, wanna bring out the stool? Chloe is from Tampa, a medical receptionist. Um, what kind of doctor? Doctor's walk-in clinic in Tampa, Florida. A what kind of clinic? Doctor's walk-in clinic. Okay. We treat. So you see all kinds of. All kinds major illnesses, lacerations, anything to, from colds to cuts. You name it, we treat it. <laughs> Out there at the front desk, if you're the reception, I bet. You, do you ever see any emergencies? Quite a few. Quite a few emergencies. Do you have any training that? No, you really learn while you're there at the clinic with the, as the patients come in and the different things you see. Your first training is to learn to say, doctor, doctor get out get here. Get him back. <laughs> you want to do data processing, is that yes, true? Computer data processing. I plan to continue my education at Hillsborough Community College. And afterwards, where do you suppose you'll settle down and do your work? Hopefully, it'll be in New York. I would like to be a computer systems analyst and do a little bit of modeling up in New York. So why'd you choose this computer business? I find computers challenging, very interesting, and I like to deal with numbers. And I bet you can handle the challenge. Pretty good, I think. Good luck. Thank you very much. There he is, Clo Cabrera. <laughs> Tina Pakansky is next. Tina from Key Largo, 23 years old. She's a travel agent, among other things. You still yeah. doing that work? Well, travel agent it was my profession for three years. I went to school to be a travel agent. One of my main goals is to open up my own travel agency, but I have a new concept, so I'm hoping it'll work out in the future. Tell me how and why you've chosen the travel business. Well, the travel business is very interesting. It's great because you get to travel a lot, and I love to travel. I love meeting new people, and what other way to do it than be a travel agent? Yeah, you folks get to go try out some places before you come back and recommend it for a client, don't you? That's the best part of it, and you get treated like gold. Where have you gone, a top of mind, a place that comes to mind that you say, oh, well, I'd like to go back there again? Well, unfortunately, I haven't been out of the USA, but I really would love to travel in Europe. I've been to a little island called Bimini Bahamas, which is really special to me, and it's a great place. Tina, you're doing a good special job right here, and we hope you just continue on. Good luck to you. Thank you very much, Dick. Thank you. Tina Pekansky. All right, Betsy. Betsy Lake is from Orlando. She's a student, University of Central Florida, part-time salesperson. What kind of sales work do you do? I work in a ladies' dress shop. Do you buy more than you sell? Sometimes. <laughs> I try not to. Tough to get out of there with your paycheck, isn't it? Yes, it is. I, sometimes I spend my whole paycheck there. <laughs> you have mentioned that uh, you want to study. Uh, you get a bachelor's degree in elementary education, so I guess you're going to talk about being a teacher. Yes, I'd always wanted to be a teacher. I used to have class for the little kids in the neighborhood, and it's just always been my ambition. I love children. Any little uh, brothers and sisters? I have a younger sister, but she's 15, so that's not much younger. <laughs> well, you, let's see now. How much older? Well, you're only four years older yeah. than she is. How are you going to remember what it's like to deal with these youngsters? There's a lot around the neighborhood, <laughs> and I've been teaching them all my life. I've had little classes for them. So. Well, you're, it's going to be a real adventure for you. Sure will. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Betsy Lake. <laughs> Jennifer Cooksey. She's from St. Augustine. She goes to St. John's River Community College. She's also a model. Ooh, says down here that she was chosen to travel on tour with Julio Iglesias. I sure was. I was very lucky about that. I was in a pageant two years ago. And Julio Iglesias and his personal photographer were special guests of the pageant. And his photographer took pictures of all the girls. Two weeks after the pageant was over, I got a phone call. And three other girls and myself flew up to Baltimore and tried out for a dance video that he was doing. And I didn't get the dance video, but I got chosen as a hostess to travel with his group throughout the United States and Europe. Now, did you, uh, did you get to meet him and get close to him? I sure did. He is a wonderful person. He's um, done so well for himself. And uh, he's just got a vivacious personality, um, so much charisma. He's a wonderful person. There you go, the inside scoop. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there is Jennifer Cooksey. <laughs> Cindy Insinga from Miami Beach, 21 years old. You've got a, a rather interesting job. Tell them what you do now. I'm a graduate from St. Thomas University. 
I graduated Magna Cum Laude last year. I took a year off, and I'm a professional model and dancer. And I, I'm pleased to say that I got accepted to the University of Miami Law School. Now, did you, um, you're not doing the parole and probation department anymore? I did that as an internship. That was very interesting. That made up my mind for sure that that's what I wanted to do was to pursue a law career. Um, I had the opportunity to work at the Broward County Courthouse, and I really enjoyed it. I learned about the different types of people. I tried to help the underprivileged out, and it was a great experience. Now, again, any feeling the type of law that you want to practice? Um, I'm not too sure. When you're actually doing it, it's different. But I certainly don't want to go into criminal law, probably business, corporate law. Well, you sound serious about this. Sound like you've got the plan put out there rather nicely, and I hope it happens for you. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy and Singa. And this is the uh, shiny Lisa Webb. Lisa is from Bradenton, 19 years old, International Academy of Fashion, Merchandising, and Design. Now, what does that mean you're going to do when you get finished your education? That means I'm studying two years at the Academy. I've just finished my first year, and I'm majoring in fashion merchandising. And when I'm through, I hope to attend USF for a four-year degree in advertising and someday maybe on my own advertising, fashion advertising. That would be great. You have a lot of friends here tonight. My mom's the only one here. I have a lot of friends at home watching. Hi, well, Rhonda. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> well, if you have friends at home watching and they knew you were going to be in this pageant, mm -hmm. just tell, what kind of advice did those friends give you? They said, smile a lot, stand up straight, <laughs> and go to bed early so you don't look tired. <laughs> don't eat too much. That was my sister's advice. Have you done all that? Well, I kind of <laughs> cheated, but I didn't want her to know. <laughs> Lisa, I'm sure you'll do well nonetheless. Good luck. Thank you. Lisa Webb. Now, in a moment, we'll continue. We'll get to meet the remainder of our semi-finalists. Uh, another young lady who has a title, who is with us tonight, is Rhonda Blaylock. She's Miss Arkansas, the reigning Miss Arkansas. And I know she has some thoughts about this part of the pageant. Contestants are anxiously awaiting their turn. When you make the semi-finalists, the interviews are fun, but you have to be careful what you put on your application because Dick is always looking for the unusual and exciting to ask about. We'll hear from the remaining semi-finalists right after these messages. Imagine. Imagine a greater Fort Lauderdale vacation. The Miss Florida USA pageant wants to thank those who have contributed to the success of this year's competition. The Diplomat Resort and Country Clubs hosted the pageant contestants. Gary Fronrath Chevrolet for providing a new Camaro for Miss Florida USA. A1 Bus Lines for keeping the contestants on time for all their travels in Broward County. Bobby Rubinos, the host for the contestants and judges orientation dinner. Exotic Gardens for the special settings and flowers for the pageant. And the Riverside Hotel on East Los Olas, host for the pageant judges and dignitaries. The excitement and honor of being selected Miss Florida USA is one that you too might share. I'm Kathy Rosenwinkel, Miss Florida USA 1986. If you are between the ages of 17 and 24, you may qualify. Send a card with your name, address, telephone number, and date of birth to Miss Florida USA, care of Tel Air Interest, 1755 Northeast 149th Street, Miami, Florida, 33181. Remember, this is just the beginning. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lose 10 pounds, so I'm starting at Winn-Dixie. From now on, I'm going for low fat, low sugar, and low prices. Oh, but I got to have some kind of dessert. I think I'm going to make it. Winn-Dixie's changing right with you. Winn-Dixie, America's supermarket. Back with the remainder of our semi-finalists now. Let's find out what they're all about. 
Let's see, Jill, Jill Kufeld, you are next. Come right out here. 22 years old, satellite beach, her home, public relations for a hotel. You still doing that? Yes, I am. Tell me what that involves. What do you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis? I am a creator of everything that happens in a nightclub. Ooh. You want to keep doing that? Yes, I am. Sounds like you've really got your feet into it and you want to stay doing that work and you love it. Yes, I hope to own uh, my own nightclub. You know, we were talking a moment ago about uh, what people suggest to young ladies as they get ready to get into a pageant. What is the biggest thing you had to do to prepare to be here, to come to this pageant? A lot of it's mental, uh, a lot of pr preparation in, in your figure and, and getting all the, your clothes together. <laughs> You all of a sudden start thinking about diet and things of that sort? Yes, diet. Actually, when you have a big workup and then when you get here, it's actually, it's a lot of fun. Do you, uh, have you maintained your diet and your exercise and things of that sort? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. You promise? Promise. Listen, in this uh, hotel business, uh, again, you say that you're going to stay right here in this area. You're not going to go anywhere. No, no hidden aspirations to go running off to New York, L.A., or whatever. No, I love Florida. I like Florida. Well, we'll keep you right here and glad to have you here. Good luck. Thank you very much. Jill Kufel. Lisa? Lisa Haynes is next from Venice. Student at Manatee Community College. Do you still teach dance? Yes, I do. To what age people? I teach all ages. I teach from about 3 to about 20. The youngsters that come in, you say start at 3 years of age. Do most kids come to you happy and voluntarily, or are they shoved there by the parents? Happy and voluntarily, I would have to say, because if the child didn't want to be there, they would probably put up a fight with their mother, and they wouldn't be there. Plus, I'm such a marvelous teacher, they would want to come anyway. <laughs> that sounds good to me. What kind of dance do you teach? Tap, jazz, ballet, point, and modern. Another special accomplishment of yours, appearing in Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro. How'd that happen? That was fun. That was through an agency, the Dot Burn Agency in Tampa. Well, maybe you'll have another exciting event winning this title tonight. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lisa Haynes. <laughs> All right, Monica Farrell from Jacksonville, student at Jacksonville University. What are you studying? I'm studying piano performance. You're going to go on to perform piano as a profession? Yes, sir. I would like to receive my master's and my doctorate degree. And ultimately, I'd like to perform worldwide uh, in solo and orchestral work. How much work have you done on stage? Well, I've done huh, my first piano recital was when I was five years old. <laughs> so I've been playing continuously since then. How did, you, uh, how did you get that interest at five? Somebody must have influenced you. I wasn't that interested at five years old. Actually, between five and ten, I put up a, quite a fuss with my parents. But uh, I have two other sisters, and we all perform. The uh, parents prevailed, and away you go. That's right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you on stage and, and to hearing you. And you're doing a nice job on this stage tonight. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Monica Farrell. <laughs> all right. Kathy Scharf is next. Kathy from Margate, student, Florida State University, 19 years old. Whoops, she says communications and a minor in theater. You still yes. holding to that? Yes, I am. How do you see yourself in the world of communications? Five, ten years from now, what are you going to be doing? Hopefully directing or producing. Now, again, your interest in this area, where did that come from? Well, I used to model, and I enjoyed that very much, but I kind of enjoy being the boss, so I think I'd like to go behind the set and be a director. Are we, you're talking about directing and producing television, motion pictures, or? Films, I think. That's going to take you away to Hollywood. Hopefully, hopefully. So you're ready to take on that task? Yes, I am. You ought to sit down and talk to Mary Margaret for a little while. She's had about seven or eight years out there. <laughs> I'd and like it's, to. I'd it's like to. And a real adventure for her and, and a successful one, too. Hope, uh, hope that you have the same success. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. And now, from Kathy, we move to Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca Nemia. She taught me how to say it by saying anemia, right? Well, Rebecca from Orlando, student at uh, Winter Park High School. Are you still in high school? Well, I, I have one more year, and I will be getting out probably in the middle of the year. You look like a very mature young lady you. for a high school. What about college afterwards? Any plans? Oh, I'm definitely going to college. I would like to study probably 
Give me communications. We're going to have a lot of folks in communications. We sure are. Parents, suggestions to you, perhaps, Rebecca. Here you are, a high school student, and you're coming into this pageant, going to be seen on television. What did they say to you? They told me to be myself and that they loved me with all their hearts and to do my best. That's pretty good support, isn't it? Yes, it is. Good luck. Thank you very much. There is Rebecca Nemia. Joy, Joy Carlson is next from Jacksonville. She's at the Florida Junior College, 17 years old. Come on over here into my office. Let me talk about uh, real estate. You want to go into that? Why? Well, I was considering real estate, but just out of high school, there are several fields open to me right now. I'm very young, and I've also been accepted to Flagler College, so I'm considering going to St. Augustine instead of staying in town. Well, you've got a lot of things happening. I sure do. Well, now, for you again, uh, like I asked the other lady five years or so from now, what are you going to be doing? What do you want to be doing? Well, I'd like to be extremely successful. I'd like to be self-involved, self-managed. I'd like to be making my own income. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be very dependent on myself and very independent. It's too bad you're so shy, Joy. <laughs> you are a well-spoken young lady. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you. Joy Carlson. Rhonda Rayborn from Gainesville, student, University of Florida, and also a bookkeeper at her father's company. Are you still doing that? I surely am. And you know, it's really great because it's my own interest in mine, too, because it is a family business, so I have all the inside scoop on what's going on, so if there's a problem, I can take care of it. What kind of business is it? Well, he owns three grocery stores, and they're all put together into a corporation, and I manage all, uh, bookkeep for all three of them, and I manage one of them. Oh, now, you are into it. And you think you'll just stay with the, the family business? Well, actually, I'd like to go into advertising, but I would like to keep it within the family business. Maybe we'll expand into some further advertising. Now, but when you say go into advertising, as what? Well, I like magazine advertising, but I'm majoring in all kinds of advertising. So I would like to maybe for us to go into, you know, advertising our stores in the papers and probably magazines, too. You've had some real experience there and doing a good job. Well, thank you very much. Good luck to Rhonda Rayborn. Thank you, Rhonda. Audrey, finally we get to you, patiently waiting over there. Audrey Arnowitz from Plantation, Student University of Florida. What are you studying? I'm studying broadcasting, and I'm minoring in acting. What are you going to be doing when school's out? What do you hope to be doing? Well, after I get my career set, I'd like to open up a daycare center and help little children because I love them. They make me really happy. So you're not going to pursue the broadcasting aspect? I may. I'll see how it goes. Just go with the flow one day at a time. Well, what makes you pick out the daycare center over what I guess many people would think is uh, a more glamorous profession? Well, the daycare center is sort of helping a child. There are so many battered children, and I would never open up a daycare center that would have child abduction like the other ones have today. And I think I'd have a really nice time doing this. Hope a lot of good things happen for you. I hope so, too. Thank you. There's Audrey Arnowitz. Thank you, Audrey. <laughs> and there, ladies and gentlemen, we have our 15 semifinalists for the title of Miss Florida USA. Well, these ladies, of course, will go on off and prepare for the remainder of the uh, evening's activities. I have the pleasure now of introducing our panel of judges. We have, once again this year, a very distinguished panel. And uh, I will begin right now by presenting a young lady who is the PM Magazine co-host for WCPX-TV in Orlando. She worked as a TV host and reporter in Iowa, in Atlanta, in Minneapolis, before moving to Florida. Please welcome Beth Wood. <laughs> Next, a gentleman who is a Broward County Commissioner and has been since 1974. He is now serving as Commission Chairman. He's a community and civic leader working on many committees in the county. Welcome, Mr. Gerald Thompson. A former Mrs. Texas. She's our next judge, an expert on beauty, because she is the pageant director of the Mrs. Dallas-Fort Worth pageant. 
and the Dallas Teen All-American pageant. She is Paula Mills. Next gentleman is a realtor in Lakeland, serves as chairman of the board of the Lakeland Area Chamber of Commerce and vice chairman of the Economic Development Council of Polk County, Mr. Gene Engel. <laughs> Very happy to have this evening with us a young lady who plays the part of Hope Brady on uh, the days of our lives. She's the wife of Bo. And also, she's a noted cover girl, Christian Alfonso. Well known Fort Lauderdale area glamour and magazine photographer, his work has been seen in Vogue, in Cosmopolitan. He's also written the success formula for aspiring models, Mr. Scott Singer. Certainly a leader in our community. Our next judge is a Broward County Commissioner, has been since 1982, and also past director of the Broward County Tourist Development Council. And this is Nikki Englander Grossman. <laughs> this gentleman next is an international trial attorney. He's from the state of Maryland in the Washington, D.C. area. He's considered the Dean of Miss USA State Pageant Judges. He's done over 200 events like this. Mr. John T. Bell. <laughs> and next, a young lady who is a student at Florida State University. And by coincidence, she was the winner of this very same Miss Florida USA Pageant in 1984. This is Stacy Hosperter. Panel of judges, they'll do the selecting, and before long, we'll have a new Miss Florida USA. You know, when a young lady gets that title, good things seem to start happening. And that would tell me that Mary Margaret Humes and Kathy Rosenwinkel might have some things to share. You know, each Miss Florida USA has a list of appearances and events that she participated in, and every year it is different. How about you, Kathy? How was your year? Oh, everything started so fast, you don't get a chance to think. You know, it all started a year ago. This Florida USA is Kathy Rosenwinkel. After that special night here in Fort Lauderdale, it was work, work, and more work. Training for the Miss USA pageant was a full-time job with a little shopping thrown in for good measure. The year was special with all my personal appearances. I've met new friends like Governor Graham, the former Miss USA and Miss Universe, and let's not forget Barry Gibb. During my reign, I have been honored with several keys and proclamations from various cities. The biggest thrill for me came at the Miss USA pageant. Whether it was fun taping for the live telecast, meeting contestants from all across the country, the swimsuit taping, dancing, or competing for the title of Miss USA, it was an exciting highlight of my life and a time that I will always treasure. Boy, that really was an exciting year. So what does this coming year have in store for you? I'm the director of New Concept Studio of Modeling in Orlando. Oh, and I heard you just recently started your own business? Yes, I did, and it's called Women's Touch Productions. Wow, now that's two careers, but I also know you're going to college. I'm majoring in marketing and minoring in broadcasting at the University of Central Florida. Oh, terrific. Well, we all wish you the best of luck. We now have a song coming up by special guest performer Ty Herndon after the, these messages from your local station. Imagine. Imagine a greater Fort Lauderdale vacation. Thank 
location in Greater Fort Lauderdale, even greater than you imagined. Imagine that. Welcome back to the 1987 Miss Florida USA pageant. Here is our special guest performer, Ty Herndon. She earned your love Every single day She returned your love Each and every way People say don't you play with Before the contestants plunged into a busy schedule of preparations, rehearsals, and photo sessions for the pageant, some of them got the opportunity to get to know the greater Fort Lauderdale area. As the host of the pageant, Broward County welcomes the participants with open arms, and it has a chance to show them that greater Fort Lauderdale certainly is the greater place to be. Just watch. From throughout the state, from Orlando, Tampa, Tallahassee, and Jacksonville, scores of lovely young ladies flew to their final destination, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the 1987 Miss Florida USA pageant. At Fort Lauderdale International, the contestants headed straight for the Hertz counter, and, as if by magic, plus more than a little know-how, the computerized systems fulfilled their requirements. Next stop is the Sands Hotel Marina at Pompano Beach, where the ladies set sail in search of adventure in the form of sport fishing. The challenge is great and the battle is won, but the tail will have to be bigger than the whale. To cool off after their adventure on the high seas, the contestants slipped into suits and onto the water slide at C.B. Smith Park. 
The water is cool and the slide is exciting, but there are lots of fun things to do at this park. Competition isn't new to these ladies. That's why they're here. So they welcome a chance to test each other's medal in a game of skill. At Broward County's Port Everglades, the contestants discover the cruise ship Costa Riviera and the exploration begins. And the ladies search and research every nook and cranny of the ship until the pool is found. One group of ladies head west and get to meet the Indians at Seminole Village. Here they learn to cook authentic Indian food. And when it's done, these confident ladies seek the culinary approval of the chief. Farther west, the contestants enjoy the Everglades via airboat, a terrific way of getting back to nature. Fort Lauderdale's Museum of Art is a favorite stop, as these ladies are interested in impressions. While another fine art can be enjoyed to the south, Hollywood's Young Circle is the site of the Hollywood Jazz Festival, where the ladies enjoy the fine music and interesting, to say the least, company. The contestants' home during the pageant is the Diplomat Hotel, where they can always find the pool. While one young lady pauses to freshen up with Maybelline, another enjoys an unplanned dip in the pool. Their home away from home provides them with plenty of fun opportunities. Posing for pictures is a fact of pageant life, and the local press keeps the young ladies hopping. All 116 contestants are willing subjects, though, as witnessed by this swimsuit tableau. If any army travels on its stomach, then these contestants have come to the right place. Bobby Rubino's restaurant and plantation is the host of the orientation dinner. And besides enjoying the fine food, the young ladies are given the opportunity to meet the pageant judges, some local dignitaries, and to perhaps glean some helpful hints from the past and present title holders in attendance. Boy, they sure did have fun. And Broward County is the place to be. I know the memories will last forever, as will the friendships that are made. Now, we continue with the second category of the pageant finals with a swimsuit competition. Each of the semifinalists appear in their official pageant swimsuits by Catalina. Now here's Dick with the second category judging. We are ready now to present our 15 semifinalists in swimsuit competition. Beginning with Irene Seleno. Irene from Hallandale, a 19-year-old. Next is Chloe Cabrera. Chloe is from Tampa. She'll celebrate her 22nd birthday tomorrow. Tina Pekansky. <laughs> Tina from Key Largo. Betsy Lake. Betsy, who comes to us from Orlando. Jennifer Cooksey. A 22 year old from St. Augustine. Cindy Nsinga. Cindy's from Miami Beach. Next is Lisa Webb. Lisa 19, her home is Braden. Jill Kufeld. Mm -hmm. 
Jill from Satellite Beach. Lisa Haynes. Lisa's home is Venice. Monica Farrell. Monica from Jacksonville. Kathy Sharp. Kathy, a 19-year-old from Margate. Rebecca Nemia. Rebecca from Orlando. Joy Carlson. And Joy is from Jacksonville. Rhonda Rayborn. Rhonda at University of Florida at Gainesville. Audrey Arnowitz. Audrey comes to us from Plantation. And now our semi-finalists will all come forward for one more last look in the swimsuit competition. The contestants have finished two of the judging categories, and I bet you they're dreading that third, except for that hopeful winner, of course. The judges are narrowing their choices, and we will soon find out who will be Miss Florida USA. We will continue with this Miss Florida USA pageant right after this word from Maybelline. The next semi-finalist category is the evening gown competition. While the contestants change into their gowns, we'd like to show you what happened when some of our contestants decided to visit some of the hot spots in town. As they moved through the city, they felt like they were Martha and the Vandells, and Jill Kufeld, Kim Adamanis, Irene Salano, and Cindy Nsinga were inspired to start dancing in the street.
thought the streets of Fort Lauderdale were hot before our girls hit town. I don't think it's ever going to be the same. The winner crown tonight will receive in excess of $25,000 in cash prizes. Then, of course, Miss Florida USA goes on to the Miss USA pageant, where if she wins, she will continue on to the Miss Universe pageant, where she could receive over a half million dollars in prize packages. Let's take a look at what the winner tonight will Miss receive. Miss Florida USA will be flying on Eastern Airlines. Whether she chooses a flight from a southern, central, or northern part of the state, she'll be traveling with Eastern. At Eastern, we earn our wings every day. The new Miss Florida USA will drive a Hertz car throughout her five-night stay at any one of the 12 great Florida Marriott hotels and resorts. Whether she prefers the city or the shore, she'll celebrate her reign with a special Hertz and Marriott vacation package. From Maybelline, the official cosmetic of Miss Florida USA, a gift bag filled with cosmetics went to every contestant, and a $1,000 cash award goes to the winner. Gary Fronrath Chevrolet supplies the official automobile for the Miss Florida USA pageant. Kathy Rosenwinkel, Miss Florida USA 1986, and Barbie Lush, Miss Florida USA 1985, get the perfect start at Gulfstream in a sporty convertible IROC Z Camaro. They're on their way to a day of art appreciation, shopping, and relaxation on Las Olas Boulevard in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Their first stop on charming Las Olas Boulevard is the Riverside Hotel, host to the judges and special guests of the pageant. The gardens at the Riverside provide the perfect backdrop for artist Don Mingola's Goddess of Dance One, a prize honoring Miss Florida USA. From the Tender Touch Boutique, the winner will receive a wardrobe gift certificate. Kathy's choice is this elegant but casual royal blue silk suit for an afternoon stroll poolside at the Riverside Hotel. More shopping awaits the winner at the European Connection, where Kathy's pick is the ultimate in fashion from Paris in bronzed sequins. From the Deligny Art Gallery, the winner will receive one of these stunning pieces of art. Carol's Jewelers will custom design a diamond, pearl, sapphire, and moonstone necklace. She'll be on her way to South America for the trip of a lifetime, a spectacular week in Rio, courtesy of Varig Brazilian Airlines and American Express. She'll receive deluxe accommodations, a gift pack of American Express traveler's checks, and tours of Rio, Brazil's most exciting city. She'll visit the beaches of Ipanema and be dazzled by the nightlife of Rio on this VIP tour from American Express and Varig Brazilian Airlines. The new Miss Florida USA will receive a personal appearance contract from Telair Interest, Inc. And during the year of her reign, she will always be a special guest at the Diplomat Resort and Country Clubs. And now for the most elegant part of tonight's pageant, the evening gown competition. Each of the 15 semifinalists appear in a gown of their own choosing. The judges will base their scoring on poise, charm, and flair for fashion. Dick is now ready to begin this final category of the semifinalist competition. Indeed, and now may we present our 15 semifinalists for their evening gown competition, beginning with Irene Celano. student at the University of Miami. One of the Miami Dolphins cheerleaders as well. Here is Chloe Cabrera. Chloe is from Tampa, where she works as a medical receptionist. Pekansky. Tina is a travel 
Parole Agent. She's in Key Largo. It's Betsy Lake. Betsy, a student at the University of Central Florida, studying in elementary education. Jennifer Cooksey. <laughs> Jennifer from St. Augustine. She's a student at St. John's River Community College and a model. Cindy Nsinga. Cindy is from Miami Beach. She's preparing to select a law school. Lisa from Bradenton is a student at the International Academy of Fashion, Merchandising, and Design. Jill Kufeld. Jill is in public relations. She makes her home in Satellite Beach. Lisa Haynes. Lisa from Venice. She's at Manatee Community College. Monica Farrell. Monica at Jacksonville University. She hopes to perform the 
piano worldwide. <laughs> Kathy Sharp. Kathy from Margate, student at Florida State. Rebecca Nemia. A student at Winter Park High School, Rebecca from Orlando. Joy Carlson. Joy, a 17-year-old from Jacksonville. Rayborn. Rhonda from Gainesville, University of Florida, 22 years old. Arnowitz. <laughs> Student, University of Florida, Audrey from Plantation. I was and hoping I would make the top five. These girls are just as nervous right now, but they don't dare show it. We'll return to the Miss Florida USA pageant right after these messages from your local station. Next is the awaited announcement of the five finalists. While the judges' votes are being tabulated, let's take a look at some girls who discovered that everything they saw began to take on a different light. Cindy Robinson, Lisa Fernandez, Amanda Hip, and Stephanie Cosco, with the influence of the Bangles, really did see things in a different light. You on a silver screen, sit in a dark 
I'd like to have you meet our special guest in the uh, audience here this evening. First of all, the Miss Florida USA of 1985, Barbie Losh. Barbie? We have with us Miss Arkansas of 1986, Rhonda Blaylock. <laughs> Miss North Carolina of 1986, Rhonda Nobles. <laughs> and Miss Florida Teen, 1986, Stephanie Smith. Now I think we're just about ready for the announcement of our five finalists. Let me have, please, the names. Thank you, sir. Once again, ladies, it's a difficult task selecting just five from 15 beautiful young women like yourselves. Good luck to each of you now. Our first finalist is... Chloe Cabrera. Our next finalist, Rhonda Rayborn. Finalist. Lisa Webb. Two more names to read. The next is Monica Farrell. And the finalist, Jennifer Cooksey. Congratulations to these, our five finalists. We will be back with the judges' final decision after a word from Mabel Lee. Our five finalists standing by, waiting for a final decision from our judges. And, you know, I guess we know these ladies pretty well by now, but give me a quick refresher course. Just give me name, perhaps your hometown or school, something again to identify. My name is Chloe Cabrera. I'm from Tampa, Florida. I um, attend, I will be continuing my education at Hillsborough Community College, majoring in computer data processing. And Chloe is sounding mighty calm. And this is Rhonda. I'm Rhonda Rayborn. I'm from Gainesville. I attend the University of Florida and major in advertising. Rhonda, thank you. As her fans respond. And Lisa? Hi, I'm Lisa Webb. I'm finishing my second year at the International Academy of Fashion Merchandising and Design, and I'm from Bradenton, Florida. I don't know if you, uh, do you feel inside as calm as all of you seem to be acting here? Sure. <laughs> that's poise, that's poise. Doing well, Monica. Hi, I'm from Jacksonville, and I'm attending Jacksonville University, majoring in piano performance. Did you feel that you would be in this, in this final five tonight? Well, I hoped real hard. <laughs> Those hopes turned out very nicely. Good luck to you. And Jennifer? Hi. Hello, I'm Jennifer Cooksey, and I'm from St. Augustine. I attend St. John's River Community College. Jennifer, what are you thinking about right now? Right now, um, my mind is completely blank. I'm so nervous. <laughs> keep it that. Probably, probably the best way to keep it right now, huh? Well, one of these five young ladies one of these five will be named our Miss Florida USA in just a few moments or so. Ladies, do you recall we have that special stage uh, presentation musically? Would you take those positions right now, please? That's it. We back, uh, I think we're in good, good shape now. All ready to bring on for a special musical tribute, Ty Herndon. Ty? <laughs> girl with a dream 
lovely girl is she for dreams make a girl the girl she wants to be her coat may be warm and threadbare at the sea She wears her pockets full of dreams. So spin, dreamer, spin a dream or two. Stands the world at her feet, and heaven in her hands. So. I think of this time last year, I remember how nervous I was because I had the opportunity to become Miss Florida USA. The judges have finished their job, each one choosing the runners-up and the winner. I wonder if the new Miss Florida USA will be from the North, Central, or South Florida. We'll find out right after this message from Maybelline. Well, this time, one year ago on this very same stage at Parker Playhouse in Fort Lauderdale, a young lady from Altamont Springs won the hearts of our judges, won the title and the prizes. She was and is to this moment Miss Florida USA. For her final walk and her farewell to her title, here is Kathy Rosenwinkel. I would like to express my appreciation to my directors and everyone I've worked with. I thank my parents and friends for sharing the excitement and assisting me in preparing for my many events. The entire year has been a learning experience and has led to wonderful opportunities. It has added tremendously to my horizon and has sparked the beginning of my career. Being this for a year then has certainly been a fulfillment of my dreams, and I wish the new title holder continuous success and happiness. And uh, represented as well. And now help us do this uh, final deed and crowning a new Miss Blair to USA. Let me get from our judges now the names, the final decision. The votes were tabulated, by the way, by Tate and Tate Company, CPAs out of Miami Lakes. We thank you, folks. And here is the information we've been waiting for. I will name four runners up and then the new Miss Florida USA. Our fourth runner-up is Rhonda Rayborn. The 
the third runner-up, Jennifer Cooksey. The second runner-up is Lisa Webb. One of these young ladies is our first runner-up. Very important position because if for any reason our winner cannot fulfill the full one-year term as Miss Florida USA, then the first runner-up assumes that title. The other, of course, is our new Miss Florida USA. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up is... Monica Farrell. that it's uh, more than a little bit difficult to say anything at this particular juncture. Oh, you're, not, you're not as calm as you were a few moments no, ago, you notice? No, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Chloe, again from Tampa, uh, you're in school where? Yes, Pro Community College. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who is, who's here tonight? My mother and father, they're right here. Mom and dad, stand up over there. Well, I know they're happy and proud people. Flo, well, thank you again. We'll be rooting for you in the Miss USA pageant as you represent the state. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, with our new Miss Florida USA, Flo Cabrera, congratulations. This is Dick Lamb. Thank you all for being with us, and good evening. Mary Margaret. Congratulations to our new Miss Florida USA for 1987, Chloe Cabrera. Tonight we've seen a dream come true. Another Miss Florida USA pageant is history and the reign of a new Miss Florida USA has begun. Ahead of her is a year full of excitement and new experiences and she will proudly represent Florida in the 1987 Miss USA pageant. I want to thank the contestants for their participation in tonight's pageant and the extensive pre-taping for the show. And a special thank you goes to all of those who contributed to the success of this year's Miss Florida USA pageant. And thank you for joining us this evening in Fort Lauderdale. This is Mary Margaret Hume saying good night.
1987 Miss Florida USA pageant was brought to you by Maybelline. Maybelline helps every woman to bring out her own special beauty with a complete line of cosmetics for eyes, lips, face, and nails in the latest fashion shades. Be the best that you can be with Maybelline. And by the Broward County Tourist Development Council, Greater Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Pompano Beach, Lauderdale by the Sea, and Deerfield Beach. There's no greater fun under the sun. Travel arrangements for the Miss Florida USA pageant were made by Eastern Airlines, the new leader in service to all the Americas, serving over 127 cities, 23 countries, and one magic kingdom. At Eastern, we earn our wings every day. Check into any one of 12 Florida Hollywood uh, Marriott hotels and resorts. Get a Hertz car on the house. With Hertz, you don't just rent a car, you rent a company. So call your travel agent for more details.